Yo. I got a short tripod stand. I've been using the heck out of this thing for my Max Jax lift. The lift only goes up like four feet, so this short stand goes up about 53 inches. I was thinking about going to Harbor Freight and getting one and just cutting the legs off the bottom because I couldn't find one of these for the longest time. Everybody was sold out everywhere. Greg Smith Equipment, they got they got a supply of them now, so I can I can buy some from them. That's where I got this one to begin with, but for some reason they sold out of them. I haven't seen them for sale for about a year. I bought one of them and I always wanted another one because sometimes I need two. Um, it's a good idea to use two for a truck, something big, you know, if you're if you're pulling on it a lot just to keep it from rocking. This one supports a lot of weight, two ton. Um, the one that I'm putting on, I'm, I'm going to weld some wheels on it, so it's probably only going to be good for about 300 pounds. But it'll be nice because I can roll it all around and I can use it for exhaust work or just holding up parts and stuff when I need to. And, and like I say, I can use it just, just to keep a truck from rocking around, not really to lift anything heavy on it. So I'm going to assemble one of these bad boys just for fun, do a video on it. Now if you get one of these lifts, you're going to want one. You're actually going to want two. I was thinking about not putting wheels on it, but I'm going to do it. Got an operator's manual and uh, installation instructions. Real men don't need those. You always just throw those in the trash and you take them out of the trash when nobody's looking. Makes you look smart. Yeah, on this one I drilled I drilled extra holes in my other one. One here and one here. Just two of them. It's kind of nice that way. Got some in-between sizes then. Yeah, this is the same exact one that I uh, already bought. Just generic Chinese ANSI ASME certified. It's good stuff. Ah, oh, nuts. Look at all my nuts. I need more nuts. Damn you, Chinaman. Alright, I got six new nuts. I found a lock washer too, it was hiding over here somewhere. Found a cool little sticker. It was stuck to the inside of the box. It wasn't stuck on the on the tripod though. Never heard of those guys. Okay. Now the real trick is with these things is to just bolt everything together loose and then tighten it all up after it's all bolted together. These are 17 millimeters in case you care. These uh, face up some kind of peculiar. These little guys here are 14 millimeters. Uh oh. Victim. Yo! Oh, I'm putting stuff together. I'm just chasing this with an 8x125 millimeter thread chaser because it's got a little Chinese booger in it. This one's got a little Chinese booger in it too. In fact, I might as well just get the Chinese boogers out of this one right now. Voila! There's the gizmo. I got a little keychain ring for this pin. It goes in this hole right here. I don't think I'll be drilling holes in this in this tube. I'm gonna leave it. I got a cotter pin for this too. My other one's so wore out I don't even use it anymore. They give you a bearing in a bag. 
you got two races and a bearing and that goes up here and this bearing I'm going to put a little grease on it I just want to take and pack the grease down inside the bearings a little bit don't need too much it's going to get all dirty and filthy anyways I can put a little grease in these threads too It'll make them work a little bit better. Just going to fill these threads up. And my last part is a roll pin they have here for safety. That goes in this hole right here. The only reason why that's in there is so when you spin this, it'll stop right there. It won't go in the tube. I'm going to hit it with a file. That wouldn't fit, so I hit it with a file. It wouldn't go in there. So there it is. Now I got some 125 pound metal casters I'm going to put under here somehow. Okay, I'm going to try to make it look like I know how to weld. I suppose I should probably put some support braces on the inside. That way the wheels won't fold in very easily. I found three of the same bolts from uh, something or another. It's beautiful. Fail. Did I just make a new toy? Oh, that's that, 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 that might be a little more dangerous than a skateboard. <laughs> yeah I said it once and I'll say it again I wouldn't put any more than probably 300 pounds on something like that the wheels are good for 125 pounds each they're steel so all in all that's about 375 pounds but on one wheel it's only 125 so it'll work good for what I need it for and if, if I need anything really heavy duty I'll just use my other stand Okay, bye.